Just one look at 11-year-old Lee Linkus, and you can see whether he's on a trampoline or showing off his sports memorabilia, he's all boy and one who loves basketball, football, and baseball. Just hitting the ball, it goes really far, and I just like to run the bases and feel so great. Lee feels great now, but last November he didn't. Lee was having severe migraine headaches, and one morning things really got scary. Got up, and I saw two of my sister, and I said, Mom, I see two of Catherine. Lee's parents took him to see a neurologist for tests. An MRI determined Lee's problems were far more serious. He had a brain hemorrhage and needed to be rushed to Le Bonheur. So they said, okay, we're going to Le Bonheur. And she said, okay, I'm gonna follow the ambulance. And I said, okay, we lost the ambulance for a moment. And I said, well, I just know, look for that red heart. I just knew that that's what we needed to find. Lee's blood vessels were tangled and he would need brain surgery. Dr. Paul Klimo was Lee's pediatric neurosurgeon at Le Bonheur. He absolutely needed to come to Le Bonheur. When I first got the call from the outside facility, I recognized that this was a, a child with a um, life-threatening event. For almost eight hours, Lee was in surgery, but finally his parents got the word he was going to be okay. Things are great right now. He has uh, shown no evidence of any recurrence of this lesion. He has recovered great from the surgery. We understand that it was a miracle, and, and we know that. And um, uh, from that time on, I mean, the care, the care in the ICU, um, the, just the incredible passion that all those nurses have for those patients. It's a feeling Lee shares about the doctors and nurses at Le Bonheur. They did a wonderful job in surgery, and I just can't tell you how much they mean to me. Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3.